Prismacolor at the top that I've pressed really hard, I deliberately left gaps and spaces. So I'm going to show you in a minute. I've got some India ink, just a little bit. I've got a sponge brush, and I've got just some clean water. We're going to ink over that in a minute. On this section, I have just very lightly colored. Before you can ink anything, you have to Google me or finish colored picture, okay? Then you're going to take it and you're going to wrinkle it up. What you're trying to do is actually cause cracks to form. You want to wrinkle the colored areas at least three times. And I'm kind of opening it and I'm looking to see that it's actually crackling in there. Once you've done the wrinkles, flip it over on the back side, flatten it out. You can see the wrinkles. I've got a lot of wrinkles in this section. May want to, at that time, decide to wrinkle more. It's up to you. We're actually now ready to apply the ink. You don't want to apply ink directly, so you want to put a little bit of water on your brush. I'm going to turn it so y'all can see. But you don't want it to get too drippy. I'm going to tap into the ink a little bit. And I'm going to start to cover right over everything that I've penciled. Notice that I'm kind of pulling the sponge brush the same movement across the page. And anything that I didn't actually color in has now been filled with black ink. Right here you can see there's a gap I didn't color. It's black. You can see how the ink has seeped into all the cracks. These are the areas I colored heavily, and the color is brighter. These sections, I just colored a little. It still created a resist, but it seeps in a lot more. The paper is going to allow for absorbing, but you've got to make sure that you don't tear it through. Now, I'm going to, on purpose, go back over mine with a really heavy application of ink. If you do too much, you are going to really lose your image. Now, how can I remove some of that ink if I decide, ooh, I think I did too much. Yeah. So you could easily wipe some away. I'm just going to do that now so that y'all can kind of see. It can be revived. See that? It can be revived, which I actually really like that effect because now I've got a really thick, dark background, and then I've got this really great color. And do you see the crackling? That's the batik, okay? That's what you're after. I would like for you to batik your drawings today. Your goal is to try and batik 